Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Nisha Singla and in our previous videos we have learned how to use use state hooks and we have discussed all the possible ways through which we can use that. So now let's do one practice question because that will make sure that you are understanding the concept properly and this question is asked most of the time in interview as well. So let's understand what is the problem statement and then we will see how we can solve that with the help of use state. So I want to create one theme component where I want to toggle the theme. So for an example, I have two theme, dark theme and light theme. So I want to give this toggle on UI and this is my container on which I want to apply this theme. So whenever I toggle this checkbox, my theme should change from theme one to theme two or from dark theme to light theme. So this use case we need to solve with the help of use state. So now let's jump to the code and see how we can solve this use case. So I have created one component with the name of theme.js and I have just imported this use state hook from the react package. So let's quickly create a component first of all. So I'm giving it the name as theme only. Let's create a functional component because we need to solve this with the help of use state hook and use state hook we can use only in the functional component. And let's export this component. And I have already imported this component in the app.js file so that it can render on UI. So first let's create a simple UI. So for that I will return a JSX. I will wrap my elements in the container. So for that I will use these fragments. And here I want first of all a checkbox that will help me to toggle the theme. Okay. And for that I can have some text like enable dark theme. And here I can create one checkbox. So for that I will use input type checkbox. So here you can see we have this checkbox ready. So as of now let's keep it th this way only and now let's have the container where I want to apply my theme. So for that maybe I have one div and inside that I just want to have some text so that I, I can show you the themes are updating. So here I'm just putting some random text. So this is a basic description about my content and here you can see it is working fine. So now what I want that whenever I click on this checkbox, it should change my theme on this container. So now the next step is to toggle the theme. First of all, we should have theme, right? So let's create an object here only that will have two themes. The first one is dark theme and the other one is the light theme and you can have your CSS as per your requirement but I will keep it very simple. So I will have one property with the name of background color and I will give some color here and the text color I will change to white. If you want you can have more CSS but I'll keep it simple so I will add just some padding also. That's it. And the same attributes I will have inside my light theme but I will just swap the color so I will say white and gray. So my theme is also ready. So you will not see it on UI because I didn't apply this theme anywhere. So now let's see how to use this theme on my this container with the help of this checkbox because this will allow me to toggle the theme. So now let's see how we can toggle the theme. So for that I will use this use state hook and I hope you know the syntax how to use use state and all because that I have explained very well in the previous videos. So if you have some confusion you can check it out. So this use state hook will have one property with the name of dark theme. Another one is the handler. Okay, that will help me to change the theme. So now you will decide how you want to solve this problem statement. There could be multiple way of solving the same problem. But as of now, I will use some Boolean attribute true and false. Is dark theme is enabled, then true. If it is not, then it's false. So by default, dark theme is not enabled. So I'm passing it as false. So it means dark theme by default, its value will be false. And with the help of this handler function, I will toggle this value to true and vice versa. So when the value of my dark theme is true, then, in, then I will apply this property because it will hold the CSS rule for the dark theme. And if dark theme is not true, it means I'm, I want to apply light theme. So that thing you can do here in the this div container because I want to apply my CSS on this div, right? So I need to do conditional rendering here. 
so for that how you can do you can say style i want to apply some style on this div and it's quite simple i will use this this variable so if its value is true it means i want to apply dark theme and dark theme is hold inside this object theme dot dark theme so here you can say theme dot dark theme otherwise let's apply the light theme that is theme dot light theme so it's completely dependent on this variable which is my state variable so initially its value is false so when this ui will render dark theme will false right so in that case it will apply theme dot light theme so let's see are we getting that theme on ui so you can see we are getting it right let's change this color to black Okay, so now when I will say apply dark theme, it should toggle to the dark theme, but it is not working because I haven't applied any handler here. I have to call this set dark theme method to update the value of my dark theme, right? So let's complete the remaining part. Whenever the value of this checkbox will change, I want to call my this handler. And now if you remember, I told you different ways of updating the state. And one of the way I told you if my current state depend on the previous state, then we should not update the state directly. We should use callback function for that because states are asynchronous. So you have to make sure that it's updated properly. So I will pass a callback function here and then I will make a call to this set dark theme function. And here I told you it's quite simple. You just need to use like this you just need to toggle if previous value of my state was false let let them let's set it as true and if the previous state was true let's set it as false so now let's move to the browser if you see here and I is going opposite right when I click on this one at that time it should be dark theme so what you can do you can pass its value here as well So you need to check when dark theme is true. So initially when dark theme is false, right, it will not check, it will not by default check this checkbox. So when I click on this one, only then it will check and then it will apply the dark theme. So you can see the toggle is working. The important part to remember here is how you are updating the state. So this is a very simple example which will help you to understand use state and how to use it in your project because these type of questions mostly ask in interview and of course you can come up with your ideas you can do the same thing with different approach as well but you need to find out which approach is good. So this is all for today I hope you found it useful and we'll see you in the next video till then keep learning.